It is currently 4.44 p.m. 4 4 4 I finally gained my eyesight back. I can finally see the sky without flinching, without my eyes being irritated. I didn't trust any of the Google shit because there's a bunch of articles saying 10 different things. 10 different articles saying 10 different things where I trusted with my intuition and the fact that I could just progressively overload my vision again and it's fucking cold as fuck. How cold is it outside? Jesus Christ. It's cold as shit. Uh, weather up, weather up, weather up. It's cold as shit. It's eight degrees. Crappy. Eight degrees. I can really feel the eight degrees. Terrifyingly cold, but I can finally look at the sky again without flinching, and it just elevated my meditation sessions by miles. Miles, bro. Meditating inside or, or through a window has no, like, this doesn't have the same effect in the slightest. Compared to the hello, hello. I think he wants to take a shit. Hey, 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 hey. Guess you see him. Mm -hmm. Alright, what? Why are you so warm? Why are you so warm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His heart is being like crazy because he has my character carried. Mm -hmm. You know, he's doing it all his life. Yeah, I guess he can't get used to it. Okay, go outside the chips. You wanna go outside? So you wanna take a poo-poo? <laughs> yeah, I'll let him back inside in a minute. I'll do finish his poo. Yes, probably he'll be fine. Um Yeah, I can finally see again. My eyesight's finally returned. Man, I love my cat so much. She's so adorable. Jesus Christ. He's one of the only things keeping me sane for the entire time I was at home alone all the time. I love my cat. Everyone should get a pet for some proven. Because it teaches you responsibility and it gives you a little bit of companionship where everyone in this day and age is fucking lonely. Like even the cutest girl you'll see, like ask the cutest girl you'll see if she's happy with the relationship so far that she's had or and and what was it? The dating market. How is dating for her? For the most part, you'll be very, very on the negative side, she'd be like, oh yeah, dating isn't the, the thing, isn't good right now. I don't think I've found the right one, etc, etc, etc. Because the majority of men in this day and age are absolute losers. This is why woman, female loneliness is going on the high. Because women, they end up like sleeping with the Chad. They sleep with a guy who's handsome, he's tall, he's got his money together, he's got shit together. And afterwards, they just get tossed to the side, the sidewalk, like a tree, like an object. And they hate it, but they kind of like it. It's like it's it's weird. It's weird. It's a weird dilemma to be in. And female loneliness is, is like it's, it's on the high. I think it's like thirty four percent females are lonely, and nine percent of males are lonely. So if nine percent of men are lonely and only thirty percent of women are lonely, then what does that mean? That means the same dudes are fucking all the same. All the girls. All the majority of the girls are being monopolized by the same few dudes, a few millions of dudes, comparatively to the other hundreds of millions of dudes. This is in the West exclusively, by the way. So yeah, that's why you get a cat, you get companionship, so you know you can destroy loneliness. And if you're lonely, in my opinion, if you're exceptionally lonely, I think that you're just not, you aren't busy enough. I just think that, and this is going to be like, this is going to be met, met with mixed reviews. Oh, Jimmy, you don't understand. Oh, Jimmy, da, 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 I'm really lonely. Et cetera, et cetera. I know. I've been at home for a year. I've changed radically since then. But I've been at home alone pretty much, just me and my cat, for over a fucking year. Nothing interesting has happened in my life, apart from my fitness journey, apart from my entrepreneurship journey. And I talk, I talk about that like fucking 
every single, every single fucking video. I'm actually getting tired of talking about it. I'd rather not talk about it. I know what loneliness is like. But then recently, I've been getting busier. Busier recording videos. Okay, I guess. Come inside. It's cold, too. Felt time. Getting busy recording videos, I was getting busy uh, trying new things, new meditation techniques, new self-improvement techniques, editing more. You, If you are busier, it's often incredibly more difficult to get lonely. And this isn't to be like, this is me downplaying people that are currently lonely and feel incredibly so. Because I completely and utterly relate to you guys. And I understand the struggle, I understand the pain, I, I completely and utterly understand. Loneliness is the biggest pandemic that kills us all. Slowly and surely. Anyway, I can finally see. I don't know why I go down the thing of loneliness. Because my cat came along. And then I just delved into another topic. Um, yeah, it's just, it's weird. It's weird. I, I quite, I quite, um, I quite like looking at the sun. I quite looking at the sky. Not the sun. I don't look at the sky like some fucking idiot. I look at the sky. I think I'm going to another 30 minute of meditation. Uh, but it's quite cold outside, so I might just do it in my room when it's warm, and I'll just start reading. I'll get reading, it's reading a bit. Get my hour of reading done, two hours of reading, finish my book. I'm on page 388 of Unscripted by Emily DeMarco. I'm going to show you. Uh, 388. Pushing proof hard. Unscripted by MJ DeMarco. You guys can read along with me. I'm about to finish this book and I'm gonna go on probably a psychology of sales, atomic habits. I have quite a lot of books to read through. I think I'm gonna I really wanna read a book a week. I think reading a book a week is very, very powerful. Because then you can just consume information, use it in real time. I'll catch you guys in the next video. But I want you to remember hard work is easy for me. So it doesn't slide with the tongue well. Fuck dude. So pay little song. Stop it. <laughs> I can never play this in the bottom of the song.